Hi everyone, this is Sultan with the WP Files team. And this is the start of a series of videos where I'll be explaining how you can use WP Funnels and all its features. I'll give you step-by-step -step guides so that you can start creating a funnel and then learn about all the features and then end up creating a great sales funnel. All right, so let's get started. Now, this is the first video and here I'll show you how you can start creating a sales funnel and then on the following videos, I'll go on with showing you how you can use all the features. Okay. Now, before you start creating a funnel, you need to make sure that the product for which you want to use your funnel is added to your WooCommerce store. Now, if you have been using WooCommerce to sell your products earlier, then you don't need to worry about that because I'm pretty sure you already have the product there. But if you were not using WooCommerce before, then before you create the funnel, go ahead uh, in the products and add your product there. Okay. Now I've already added a few products here, which I'll be using as examples uh, when I create this funnel. All right. So let me just go ahead and click on create your first funnel. Uh, by the way, uh, this button is here because I haven't created any funnels yet. When you create funnels, they will be listed over here. This is basically the overview dashboard where you find all the funnels listed that you've created. Okay. So let me just click on create your first funnel. And here you'll see that there are all the templates that we have created for you to use when creating funnels, all right? Now, these are niche specific templates that we've researched and developed, all right? So that you can start using them on the go and sell your products. So let's say if you have an ebook, then you can go ahead and use the ebook template. All you need to do is replace the contents and you are good to go, all right? And if you want, you can also create a funnel from scratch where you click on start from scratch and the blank canvas comes in and you add your steps on your own, all right? Now I'll be using a template to explain in this video, but the starting from scratch won't be much different. And I'll also let you know uh, what to expect uh, when you start from scratch after I import the template, all right? So let's say I'm gonna use the ebook template. So I can cl click on import here to import it directly. I have an option to preview this on our live test server where you can check out this whole uh, funnel steps for this particular template. Or you can click on this and you can get a quick glance of the steps that are available within this template, all right? So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm just gonna rename this template. You can just click here and rename this. So I'm just gonna write design ebook. And then I can click on import and it will import the template, all right? Let me click on import. And let me just give it a few seconds uh, to start importing my funnel steps. Now, once you have imported the template, it will take you to this place, which is a drag and drop canvas where you can plan and execute your funnels. All right. Now, these are the three steps that were available in that template. That's why these have been added. Now, when you would start from scratch, then you'd rather see a blank canvas. And at that time, you would have to add a step by clicking over here. Let me just show you how you can add a step. You can click on plus step and it will give you these options. You can either import uh, one of the templates for the step or you can create one from scratch, right? The difference will be when you import it from a template uh, for this particular page, then the design will be uh, created based on this template. But usually when you start from scratch, then you have full control of the design, which means you'll be designing the whole page from scratch. All right. So for now, I don't need any extra step. I'm happy with the three steps. All right. So uh, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, here I've just showed you how you can start creating your funnels. Uh, in the next video, I'll just give you an explanation of all the features here that are available that you can use to start configuring the funnel properly. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.